Hi, my name is John Hannum. I'm from Yankee Spirits. I'm the wine director there in South Attleboro. And I'm not sure what it is, maybe it's a sign of the times, but we're finding that people are not going out and doing parties as much as they used to. What they're doing is they're cocooning, they're staying at home, or maybe renting a hall, but a lot of what they're doing is doing it on their own as opposed to relying on caterers uh, or restaurants or, or function halls to do it for them. Uh, we're seeing a big uptick in that, and so what we're doing a lot of at Yankee Spirits is planning for parties. So if you have a party coming up, come in and talk to us. We've done this a lot. It's a big mathematical process. Uh, it's very easy, and uh, I don't want there to be any sort of fear in, in terms of your part, in terms of uh, overbuying, underbuying, what to buy. Uh, we do all that for you. We'll start with some basic rules. Uh, you know probably more than what I do about the party, so I'm going to ask you questions. The questions are going to be, how many people are going to be in your party? Uh, you have an idea how many you invited? get an idea how many people are going to be uh, drinking at that party. For simple math, let's say that there's going to be 100 people at your party. The rule of thumb is uh, every person will drink two glasses for the first hour and a glass of something for every hour after that. So my next question is going to be, how long is your party? If you have a three-hour party, it's basically four drinks we're talking about times the 100. So we're talking about 400 drinks you're going to need for your party. Uh, the next question I'm going to ask is how many people are, are you doing beer and wine? Are you doing just wine? Are you doing beer, wine, and a full bar? And depending on the answer I get from that is what kind of ratio we're going to divide that 400 up into. Again, for simple math, let's say that 50% are drinking wine, 50% are drinking beer. So you got the wine drinkers over here, 200 of them. You got the beer drinkers over here, 200 beers. Not beer drinkers, but beers. In wines, that basically we're talking about a five ounce glass of wine as a portion. In beers, we're talking a 12 ounce beer. 12, 200 beers is roughly seven cases of beer. So we'll call it seven cases of beer you're gonna need for this part over here. 200 glasses of wine, uh, a, bottle, a normal bottle of wine is 25.4 ounces, call it um, five, and, and a five ounce pour, a five ounce glass of wine, which is the normal pour for a glass of wine. We're talking about five glasses of wine per bottle. So, 200 divided by five, that's 40 uh, bottles of wine that you're going to need. Uh, there are 12 bottles of wine to a case. If you did four cases of wine, you're looking good in terms of your wine. So your party very simply translates to seven cases of beer, four cases of wine. Now, the next question is, how many white wine drinkers, how many red wine drinkers do you got? Is it half and half? That makes it easy. Two cases of red, two cases of white. Uh, and the beer, same question. How many light beer drinkers do you think you want to, want to have? How many uh, import beers do you want to have? How many regular beers do you want to have? Uh, again, to make math simple, if we're doing t uh, half and half, half white, half red, that'd be two cases of white, two cases of red. In the beer section, and if you were to break that down, we have three cases of light beer, because I need light beer. Three cases of fat beer, and maybe one case of imported beer. It makes it very simple to, to plan out the party that way. What I, some people start to get a little confused and say, well, now I'm going to have, I want to have a Pinot Noir, I want to have a Cab, I want to have a Merlot. My own opinion, especially in planning a party, especially in a party of a large size, is keep it simple. Keep it simple, Stanley. You don't, and, and, and what I mean by that is don't offer too many choices of different white wines, too many choices of red wines. You're only confusing your, your party guest. If you want to offer uh, a variety, offer a variety in flavor uh, profiles. A Pinot Grigio, which is a dry, crisp wine, uh, and a Chardonnay, which is a fuller, rounder wine. And reds do a lighter, fruitier wine, like a Pinot Noir, and maybe a heavier, more tannic wine, like a Cabernet. Keep it simple. Don't be doing one bottle of each type of thing. And that just makes up your whole party. That doesn't end there, unfortunately. You have other things to consider. Uh, plasticware, which we carry plastic glasses. Ice, we charge 99 cents for a bag of ice. Uh, mixers, uh, sodas for the people that don't drink. Uh, we have it all. So if you're going to have a party, come to us at Yankee Spirits. <laughs>